Namaste guys, I hope you are doing great. So in this video, we are going to make this scissor mechanism, scissor lift mechanism in Blender. So let's start. So here you can see uh, this default view. So first select this default view, press X and delete. Now press one on numpad. Now first thing we have to do is click on add mesh plane. Okay, press seven, press S, press X and type 1.5. So what I have done is I am scale I have scaled uh, this plane 1.5 times along x-axis. Okay. Now select this, press tab, and select the edge mode. Select these two edges. Okay, by pressing shift. Now press one on your numpad. Now press E Z and extrude up to 0.3. Now press A, now press Ctrl R, loop cut here, now again press Ctrl, uh, press A, press Ctrl R and make it loop cut like this, again press A, press Ctrl R and move it up to here, uh, minus 0.85. Uh, minus 0.86 okay okay now press 7 on your key, uh, keypad uh, now press a again press ctrl r and make a loop cut like this now click on vertices select these vertices press x uh, before selecting that make sure that you switch on these two modes now select these press x and delete vertices again select these press x and delete vertices now press on one unit numpad okay now go here now what you need to do is press one select uh, now what we are going to do first select this go to the modifier click on solidify click on even thickness after that select this press tab Okay, decrease the thickness to the other side. Now press one. Uh, select this middle point. Shift as cursor to be selected. Uh, now what we can do? Uh, tab. Now go to the add and click on cylinder. Go here. Decrease the radius and rotate along x-axis 90 degree. and select this go to the boolean select this if you click on this and press divide on your numpad you will see how it will cut through it okay press one so this is basically what i want now what i can do is that uh, apply these two modifiers and divide on your num numpad now select this click on here click on mirror so mirror about x and y axis make sure that the margin uh, merge is on now click on here click on apply now we need to add uh, geometry okay so what we can do is select this uh, select this press tab so we can do some lazy work here so go to the here this uh, face selection mode press c on your keyboard and select this enter and unselect this one unselect this face only okay now press shift d enter press p and click on selection now press tab to exit this mode now select this Press G, Z, okay. So you can see we will uh, we also get some unwanted things. So select this part, press divide on your uh, numpad, and let's delete the unwanted parts. So press seven, uh, press tab, 
plus one on your uh, alphabet the medical keys to go to the this versus mode so make sure that you are in x-ray mode select these press x and delete similarly go here select these press x delete vertices select these press x and delete vertices and go again to tab mode select this press tab and by pressing a and uh, press e and y uh, extrude along y axis uh, we are going to extrude it up to 0.2 mm over 0.1 mm well, 1 meter sorry not mm we are dealing in meters now divide icon on your key uh, numpad mm, it looks quite you know big uh, uh, thick or oh, I can say so what I can do is select this press N and decrease this okay let make it 3 control set so this axis is y axis so I have to do the minimum of y axis so let's decrease it yeah now i'm satisfied with this uh, design and one more thing i have to do is like this uh, press one and press tab shift select this point and press shift as press to be selected now press tab to exit this edit mode select this uh, road now shift as selection to cursor select this go here uh, boolean select the cylinder and apply okay now what we are going to do is uh, i'm going to do some advanced things so select this press tab uh, press uh, select this one uh, by pressing alt and shift select these faces now shift as cursor to be selected uh, press tab now similarly select this again by pressing alt shift select oh uh, sorry by, by pressing alt shift select all these faces and press shift as selection to cursor uh, press ctrl z first exit Now exit and shift as selection cursor press control z mm. what is this weird line tell me Now press shift as uh, first click on uh, cursor to be selected. Now tab after that go to object set origin origin to 3D cursor. Okay. Now after that select this press tab. Now shift as cursor to be selected. Now exit it select this shift as selection to cursor. Okay. Now rotate along y uh, minus 45 is fine. But you can change it as per your requirement. So, uh, we might need to use this so just move it little aside so we can use whenever we want that onwards now I don't know why this ugly line is showing up I don't see any issues there in old mesh uh, but I don't know why so select this all press tab oh, sorry press tab and go to the mesh and merge merge by distance just this case okay now that issue is gone there might be some extra verses so that's the I, guess, I think that's the problem now what you need to do is like this and uh, what we can do press tab 
by pressing Alt and Shift, select all the faces. Shift S, cursor to be selected. Tab, exit mode. Go here and click select the 3D cursor. Select this. Now press Alt D R Z. Type 180 degree. Okay. Now press one on your numpad. Oh, sorry, seven on your numpad. Select uh, this one. Press G Y and move it little this side. G Y. Okay. And I want to make you know cut uh, cut out. So what we can do for this? Remember this road. Uh, now we are going to use it again. Select this. Press tab. Press three. Uh, select all these. And shift as cursor to be selected. Press tab. Select this. Shift as selection to cursor. Press one. Uh, select this shift to D and grab and move it here a little now because I'm going to make a slot cut so that's the reason I have done it this so to make a slot select this press tab uh, what I need to do is uh, first select this vertices mode and select half of the vertices uh, okay select half of the vertices press E enter and after that press G X and move it up to as per your requirement press tab to exit this mode okay we don't select correctly G uh, so I press G and X <clears throat> now press tab to exit edit mode select this G Y move it here scale along y axis G Y press 1 now what we can do is select this and go here click on boolean select the cylinder select this and simply uh, type uh, click on divide icon on your numpad so we can see how the geometry looks like so it looks okay I think yeah it looks fine I guess yep it looks great now go again to this view and click on apply now again click on divide icon so what the divide icon do is isolate the part that basically we are interested in okay now what we need to do is select this part now press shift d r x 180 degree g z to move along z axis now select this part press tab press 3 uh, so this one okay uh, face select and remember when i said 1 2 3 basically what it means uh, most of the time in edit mode uh, that I'm typing the one two three vertices edge and selection mode above the num uh, above the keyboard number uh, keyboard alphabets okay keyboard alphabets one two three represent these things and one two three on your numpad represent front of view top view and uh, etc so you have to choose wisely so select by pressing alt shift select all these shift as cursor to be selected uh, press tab to exit from here now go to add click on here click uh, now we, we are going to add empty and press 7 select this press G Y move it up to here now what we are going to do is uh, press 1 press G Z now select this empty uh, sorry select this and go to the constraints click on copy location okay and select this empty so 
basically we are just going to copy only z axis uh, it doesn't, ma doesn't matter what is the x and y axis so uncheck those and you can see it is still on not on the correct place so select this press g z and g z click on offset first now select this press g z Uh, now press G in Z. Okay. So we have made up to this point. Okay. Now we need to add rigging. So let's see how we do. After adding rigging, what we can do is just mirror this one to here. Okay so press one now to do rigging select this point press tab uh, select this point and shift s press the to be selected okay this one goes there but i want to be here so one so what i can do is by pressing alt shift Shift S, press to be selected. I don't know why it's going there, why it's not open up here. Shift S, press to be selected. Ah, oh yeah, up now it's there. Now what we can do is press tab, exit this mode and go to here, add, click on armature, armature, okay. Now select this, press tab by pressing alt shift, shift as press to be selected. Now press tab, select this, press tab, select this, shift as selection to cursor, press 1. Now I want this one extend to this face. So what we can do is press tab, select this and press H to hide this because we don't want to see this one. Select this part, press tab. By pressing Alt Shift, select, select the whole surface. By Shift S, cursor to be selected. Press 1. Now what we can do is press tab, select this bone, tab. Uh, and select this tail E now shift S selection to cursor select this and you can see roll so roll it no trick and roll now what we can do is select uh, also roll this one for alignment Uh, now select this, press shift D, grab it, R, okay, let's roll towards that. Uh, select this, press G, select this, and shift S, selection to cursor, and select this, press R, and we are going to rotate it along Y axis. Now scale it down. Uh, let's roll it. Let's roll it to zero degree. Now, what we can do is uh, select this bone, go here, click on pause mode. First, select this bone. After that, by pressing shift, select this bone. Now, press control shift C, click on inverse kinematics. So, what will happen if I select this bone and press G, X? You can see uh, I'm getting this animation. And what now? Go to edit. Uh, and uncheck this lock object okay now what we need to do is select this part and select this bone press ctrl p object select this part and select this bone press ctrl p and click on bone so now if i select this and press g and x 
okay one part is not correctly so select this one and select this press ctrl p bone so select this g x so yeah it's working one more thing i have to do is so select this one and select this one press ctrl p object and select this bone press 1 and select this so if I press G and X you can see my platform is also moving down and up and now let's see what I have to do so basically I have done up to this point and let's hide unnecessary things because i am going to use mirror commands so for that let's see go to the object mode first so select these bones then these bones and i also need the armatures okay now first thing you have to do is uh, press shift d g y press 1 or 3 I am very sorry if you heard any unwanted noise can't do for anything else and by pressing control 1 uh, control control 7 control 1 1 control 1 I guess ok so what we need to do is so armature this one is the main armature that, that, that we have made first and this one is the second armature that basically comes from the duplicate so what we can do is uh, press tab select this bone go to object con uh, not the object constraint go to the pose mode select this bone uh, okay and go here click on sorry click on so what I have to do is click on copy location select this click on armature 1 select this and select the bone 002 we just want to control the movement of x axis and that's all go here click on object mode select this click on pose mode press 1 I know it's not quite cumbersome tabbing but that's how it is work I can't do anything about that so as you can see that boats are moving just in case if you are not able to see uh, select this spawn yeah so if I press G and X you can see that boats are moving equally distance uh, that is basically what we want now the last part is left is to add you know the mechanism so let's see how we can add that mechanism so let's see what we can do for that again so go here and click on plane press r y oh sorry x 90 press r y 45 degree and scale it down okay now let's see what we can do is press tab click on divide icon and select this select these two press f select this press x and leave vertices and press g and z move it upward as you can see this also move the origins and that i basically doesn't want it so what i can do is select this go to object set origin origin to 3d cursor now go here go to modifiers click on screw uh, y axis x axis i guess and increase the screw value 
uh, one more thing that you are noticing is that it is not moving quite the right direction we want so what we can do is select this press ctrl a and click on all transforms now press 1 go here and ok select this go to object as you can see when i apply transforms my origin go to the center and i don't want it so set origin origin to 3d cursor select this go to the screw oh, yeah this one i want by pressing shift uh, by pressing shift you can move it slowly yeah this looks fine now increase the number of iterations uh, increase the number of iterations for your requirement let's say 50 i guess uh, 50 is quite high i guess press tab divide icon Press G and Z so to make it a little smaller and select these two axes, scale it along x axis, select this plus G and Z and by pressing shift let's make it a little bit smaller. It's quite Cumbersome process. So be with me. And now, basically, what I want, I want to place it at the center and connect the road with it. So let's do it. Press tab, press 7. Uh, now I want exactly in the middle of it. So what I can do is select this, press tab, uh, select the face mode. Select this face and select this face. Press Shift Task. Press it to be selected. Why is not center? Uh, don't worry, we can use other method as well. So select this point. Shift Task. Press it to be selected. Uh, press one. Now go to the object mode. Select this. Shift S. Selection to cursor. Now press G Z and press G X. okay and increase it for a bit now we want to do something here so what we can do is go here click on add a cube press one uh, the cube is quite big scale it Press G and Z, scale it more, press G and X, so basically I want this cube exactly in the, you know, in the center of it, so what I can do is, um, this one is also not a correct place, so press 3. Select all these, press G, Y. So, what I can do is select any of these, for example, select this one, press tab. Press 1 uh, Select the face mode Make sure you are not in X-ray mode, toggle X-ray mode By pressing Alt Shift uh, Press Shift S, cursor to be selected Press Tab, select this one, Shift S, selection to cursor now press G, Y. Now it is exactly in the 
in middle of these two points okay that's the reason i have done this now press tab press one now i want to make a circle here so what can i do here so you see these things add cube cylinder so yeah select this one select this or by pressing alt shift select this one enter escape uh, now scale it along y axis uh, click on individual regions scale y Similarly, go here and mirror it. Uh, okay. Press tab, select this one, press G and press controls. I don't know what's happened. Control Z, press 3 and select this cube, press G and Z, sorry X, Y, okay, this one is really Y, and move it up to here, uh, select this, press hide because I don't want to see it, and we need to add a one more cube, so select uh, a simple cube, scale it downwards, press 1, scale it, press G and X, G and X up to here, and press 3. Select this, press G, Y, press tab, select the edge mode and select this. Make sure that your toggle X remote, press G and Z, press tab. Now we are up to here. Now we need to select this shift as pressure to be selected now go to cylinder rotate y 90 degree scale along x axis g x and scale it downwards G X. Now we need to add a one more cylinder. So what you can do is press tab, and we can add cylinder here. Cylinder R X O R Y ninety. Scale it down. G X. G Z. Scale it, scale along x axis. Now G and X. It's quite exhausting, not going to lie. So we have made up to this point. Okay. Now, last part left is animation and rigging. Uh, animation, okay. We have already done the digging, so no need to rigging. So, select this, go here, new. Mm. 
I think I am very bad with coloring, color, uh, color part. So if, sorry if I choose, you know, very bad colors. New, make it metallic, roughness, select this one and apply this material as well. Select this one, click on new. I don't know. Yellow. I am very bad with coloring. Sorry for that. Select this one and apply the same color. Select this one and click on new. Black. Uh, roughness increase. Handle. Let's give the name handle. Select this one. Go here and select handle material. Select this one and select this material. So basically, how does this mechanism work? When this one rotates, so this one will move forward and backward. It basically, what happening is is converts uh, rotating motion into uh, translative motion. Okay. So for to, to do that exactly we need to know what is the pitch of this so if you go to the modifiers you can see the pitch is 0 0.04 so what basically means that whenever it rotates a 180 degree or 360 degree it will move 0 0.04 meter okay so we can use constraints but constraints you know doesn't work properly I have seen some errors there so what we can do is uh, so first select this and shift select this and press ctrl p object uh, and so what basically we can do we can use drivers so go here pause mode click on xyz click on visibility axis in front basically in bones you put display i don't know where's the As you can see, access in position. So these are the axes. So when this one rotates about its x axis, this one basically moves 0 0.04 in y in this axis. Okay. So let's do the rigging part. So select this. Uh, select this one. Uh, so the axis is x axis currently. So select this one, press Ctrl A first, and click on all transforms for the sake of simplicity. Right click on it uh, and click as copy as new driver. Now select this one, and we basically want to move its y axis. As you can see, if I move the y axis, it rotates, it moves. So press zero. Right click on it and click on paste driver. But if I try to rotate it, uh, as you can see, it's quite wobbling. Its its origin is not at the center correctly. So it's like this. Uh, shift as cursor to be selected. First, select like this slender. Click on object. Set origin to geometry object set origin to geometry so it goes there okay so then select like this press tab select like this by pressing alt shift select like this face just and press shift s cursor to be selected press tab and go to object set origin origin to 3d cursor again select like this press ctrl a uh, press ctrl a click on all transforms and go to object set origin origin to 3d cursor 
now select this plus one right uh, so basically what I want that whenever it rotates the bone y axis x axis sorry zero so right click copy as new driver select this right click on it and click on delete drivers and make it zero select this uh, select right click on it uh, copy as new driver select this one uh, right click on y Page driver sorry my bad select this right click on it and click on delete and make it zero so basically it's x rotation I basically I want to control the x rotation so right click on it we want to copy the rotation okay after that select this and basically we want to move it by so right click on it click on page drivers okay so if I try to rotate for example 360 degree again I have done the mistakes so right click on basically I have to copy the Y no, no, 360 like this yes so I have to do something here because the values goes too high so select this bone enter the value of 360 degree select these bones so right click on it and go to open drive editors so we know that so first go to script expressions so we are getting the value of 6.283 so what should we multiply to 6.283 that we will get 0.04 so 0 0.04 divided by 6.283 we will get point uh, star multiply point double zero six three double six yep it's it's good now as you can see it's working it's maths and most of you guys hate it like me even I hate maths and similarly what we can do is select this one select right click on it click copy drivers select this and select this one and we also want to do the rotation thing so select this press control A and click on location select this one and right click on it click on page drivers so if I select this one and rotate it ok its movement is not correct select this one press G X ok I paste the driver at wrong place so select this click on paste driver right click on it click on delete drivers so select this and make it 360 degree so if I move it
right click delete drivers delete keyboards paste drivers three sixty degree seven twenty degree so here you can see it is moving in the opposite direction so what we can do is like this right click on it and click on open driver editors and type minus that's all and close it and select this one so yeah it's working now Now let's do the animation thing. After all, that's the reason you are, most of you guys are watching. I know it takes a quite a lot of time, but good things takes time, I guess. <sighs> now, now select this one. Mm. Go to the item. Move it upward a little bit and press i here now go to 80 and type 316 to 3 i guess and press i and press i again go to the 160 and go back to the zero Press I, select all these, right click on it, interpolation mode, click on linear and make the end frame 160. So, and if I click on edit animation, Mm, the distance is quite low if you ask me. So instead of 1080 360 into 8 I Yeah, this one looks much better. So that's for all and you can do rendering on your own. So I'm not going to go rendering part, but that's the basically main things. And I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, you can ask. And this model is available on my Gumroad. So if you want, you can download it from there. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.